Hey everybody, this is Doa, and I have a bit of a rarity for you today, a bit of a treat. It is actually a Zerg vs. Zerg on Metalopolis. You don't see a whole lot of Zerg vs. Zerg games, Zerg of course being at this point in time anyway, the least played race in StarCraft II. And, uh, but we do have two here. We have uh, two pretty famous Zerg actually. We've got Slush spawning in the 9 o'clock position. Slush of course the famous Canadian uh, StarCraft II player. And we also have Moonglade in the 3 o'clock position. Also spawning as Zerg, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, Moonglade, a famous Australian StarCraft II player, as well as a uh, former, w uh, what was it, Warcraft 3? That's right, and he also did play Brood War. Uh, and I did read on Liquidpedia that he reached a B ranking in IC Cup, which is nothing to be ashamed of. That's quite an achievement there to get a B in IC Cup. And uh, they will be spawning at cross positions on Metalopolis, so lots of room to work with. So probably won't see any early aggression, any sort of... Um, any sort of really super early aggression, like any uh, big baneling bus or anything like that. And uh, probably won't see any uh, you know, spine crawler proxies or any of the other crazy stuff that happens in some of those Zerg v Zerg matches. Both players sending out their first overlords across the map, trying to find where the other is. And it looks like we also have Moonglade going down. Looks like he's going to be doing a 13 hatch, which is a little bit risky maybe to do blind, but. In uh, Zerg vs. Zerg, you can pull it off a lot of times. In the meantime, we do have Slush, looks like getting that early gas and his spawning pool, so he's going to be going for either a Zergling speed early on or just uh, straight to a lair. We'll have to see what happens. Looks like he did the uh, classic 13 gas, 13 pool. Moving some guys into gas right away, that's always a good thing to do. Meanwhile, Moonglade is getting his uh, spawning pool as well. Looking at the early game APM, not a huge, huge deal early in the game, the uh, actions per minute of the players, but it is something to kind of uh, take a look at off and on. APM doesn't necessarily signify a good player, but good players usually have APM just because they're doing more things. They're not forgetting to build supply structures, they're not forgetting to build units, so uh, that naturally translates into more actions per minutes. Looks like both players... Maybe uh, Moonglade spamming a little bit, but uh, I do like to spam at the start of my games too to kind of warm up my hands. I feel it does help me click a little bit more accurately. I'll try to not to spam click too much as I cast this though. I know I do that. I hope it doesn't irritate you. We do have a Roach Warren going down for Slush here. So it looks like he's going to get some uh, early Roaches. Do we have any Zergling speed going quite yet? Not quite yet. And it looks like Slush does find his opponent here, and it looks like uh, Moonglade will find his opponent too. I would guess he's probably seen a couple drones go by, so he probably already suspects, suspects where his opponent is. Moonglade bringing out some queens and some early zerglings for a little bit of defense, although he didn't need that many to defend against one zergling. Schluss, slush <laughs> escaping behind the Menk statue there. Looks like Slush is going to get Zergling speed here. And uh, not expanding yet, so Slush probably planning to do some sort of uh, early aggression against his opponent. Doing a little bit of a uh, one basing action. At least in the early game, we do have a lot of Zerglings coming up. Four Slush, six right now, as well as three Roaches in production. Meanwhile, uh, looks like Moonglade is putting up multiple Spine Crawlers, so uh, definitely going on the defensive. Wants to make sure he can hold that early expansion. Meanwhile, his queen will take down this overseer, it looks like, or overlord, rather. Yep, looks like that win will go down, and that probably is going to supply block slush for just a little bit. Looks like it does, but he does have four overlords already on the way, so that's not going to be a long-lasting effect for him. Zergling speed getting pretty close to being finished. This is a little bit older of a replay. As you'll notice, you can't see the production bars underneath the icons up here. I think this replay is... Probably from just after release, although I'm not sure. Maybe from late beta. I haven't seen a lot from either of these players as of late, but maybe I just could have missed it. Fourth spine crawler going down from Moonglade. He does have quite a few of those early defensive structures. Maybe going slightly overboard on those, but he may need them because it looks like Slush is starting to mass a lot of speedlings. We've got uh, 10 more on the way if we go to the unit tab. He already has 15 out and four roaches, so it looks like Slush going to do some sort of early pressure with speedlings so that's getting to be quite a big group of those and also taking out one of moonglade's overlord slush being very very intelligent moving those speedlings down i don't think that moonglade did see that at all so moonglade possibly just uh, putting these down without really knowing what's coming although he uh, probably has noticed too that slush hasn't put his expansion down until just now 
So he notes that Slush must be doing something with all his resources. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of Zerglings. Slush amassing quite, quite an army here early in the game. Up to 37 already. Looks like Moonglade is sending out some scouting Zerglings of his own to see what's going on. Now it looks like he's uh, going to Lair at this point. Evolution Chamber also going down, going to be getting those upgrades. We'll have to see what Moonglade has planned for the next stage of the game once he does get that Lair up. Uh, fifth Spinecrawler going down, so uh, lots, lots of Spinecrawlers for Moonglade. Usually don't see that many of them, but they may come in handy. And now we do have that group of Zerglings, those Speedlings moving out for Slush. Looks like they're going to be going across the map there to do some early aggression. Roach is already on the way, chasing that Zergling down. Looks like Slush heading across there, trying to avoid, I would imagine. Nope, maybe he's not. Thought maybe for a second he was trying to avoid Moonglade's forces. Tried to get a little bit of surprise there. We do have another spine crawler going down here. Up to uh, six spine crawlers and one, uh, no, seven spine crawlers. And here comes the Zerglings for a Slush. They're going to run right past the static defenses and going into the main. There's nothing really Moonglade can do to defend this at the moment. Queen going down, lots of drones going down as well. Oh boy, and this is not good for Moonglade at all. These Zerglings going back down to the natural. But the spine crawlers are killing lots and lots of them. They're going to have to escape back up to the main. They are. And I think Moonglade might actually end up losing his main, sending that queen to help defend, but she's going to go down. She does go down, so Moonglade without any queens right now. These Zerglings free to uh, cause havoc in the main of Moonglade. Taking down that extractor and uh, pretty much every building. So it looks like Moonglade, what is he doing? Yeah, he is starting another lair at his natural, so he's just going to give up on the main. Massing a few more Zerglings, a few more spine crawlers there. In the meantime, if we look slush, yes, he is going to take down that main. Spawning pool just going down right now. Those Broodlings are going to gradually whittle down the number of Speedlings, but this is definitely not a good start for Moonglade. This Spore Crawler is not going to be terribly helpful. And, uh, yeah, wow, so a uh, really rough start for Moonglade there. He has a ton of Spine Crawlers, but he did just lose his main base. If we go to the Income tab, we see that uh, at the moment Moonglade actually is keeping up in Harvesters, so uh, despite being on one base, he does still have... Uh, you know, basically an equal amount because Slush did go for that early aggression. But Slush, mission accomplished there. Using that early aggression to uh, punish Moonglade for taking that early expansion. And also for building so many static defenses instead of mobile units like more of these Zerglings. Maybe it could have uh, gotten the speed instead. A spawning pool did just finish for Moonglade there, so it looks like he'll be back into production. Also do have a Hydralisk Den coming up, getting those uh, grooved spines. So it looks like Moonglade is planning on doing some sort of build with hydralisks now although we'll have to see what he does after that looks like he is rebuilding his main his main is now his natural going back to slush's base this is how this has allowed slush to get his expansion up and running getting both gases there we'll be using a lot of it i would imagine making some more zerglings and roaches and a baneling nest looks like he uh, wants to be protected against any sort of uh, possible zergling counterattack after this but i don't think he has a whole lot to worry about just getting one of those structures to uh have just in case you need to make those units he is morphing in four banelings it looks like at the moment and if we go back to the production tab looks like uh, yep groove spines probably getting pretty close to finish for moonglade and looks like he was researching gilead constitution no he did he did let that finish okay so you get roach speed as well but not a lot of roaches at the moment moonglade trying to poke in with the zergling to see what's going on but though that is going to be taken down by those zerglings and so at this point, Slush has even things out income-wise by taking out the main of Moonglade. Looks like Slush is starting to pull ahead slightly in the worker count, and he is ahead in the income count just because of being on two bases. Hydralisk then also going down for Slush. And he is going to start spreading that creep across the map. Meanwhile, let's go back to Moonglade's base. Looks like still uh, more spine crawlers. He is up to, wow, nine spine crawlers right now. So being ultra defensive, the turtling zerg, if you ever do see it, there it is. There's the turtling zerg right now. And he is uh, building an infestation pit. Okay, so where Slush is a little bit short on minerals, he is going to use that excess of gas that he has to uh, go with infestors, which are, of course, a gas-heavy mineral light unit. Because uh, in most cases, it is better to uh, build something than nothing. And if you've got a lot of gas, not a lot of minerals, you might as well do the units that, uh, that kind of fit that, uh, that situation. We did have a couple Zerglings coming in for Slush to kind of 
take a look at things, but they uh, didn't get a whole lot of information, I would imagine. Looks like I uh, do have some Hydralisks coming out for Slush. As well as four Infestors for Moonglade. So Moonglade's starting to bring out those Infestors using that Infestation Pit. And what do we have here? Looks like a Roach Warren.